Yes. So could you see uh, my screen? Yes. Okay, great, great, great. Yes, so welcome you all. Uh, there was some, uh, you know, technical glitches in terms of, uh, you know, the Zoom sign-in and everything. So that, that was a basic challenge. Please pardon me for that. Uh, there was a couple of, you know, minutes still here. Um, and uh, it's really, you know, uh, sometimes these things do happen in a typical, you know, uh, software uh, uh, challenges which are not, uh, you know, really uh, what you can say solid enough. They are still evolving with that. Okay. So, uh, so I believe there are a good number of, you know, new joinees today. Uh, am I right? Who, uh, you know, who all have their first class today? Um, Sonia, that's my first class. Oh, uh, hi, Sonia. Welcome to Data Analyst. Uh, uh, Rita, this is my first class also. Okay, great, great, great. Welcome to the Data Analyst class. What I would really request, who all have their first class, could you please uh, mention their email ID in our WhatsApp group so that I can add you to the knowledge sheet. What is this knowledge? Uh, this basically, uh, you know, comprises of older recordings, what we have collected in terms of uh, building our knowledge base. So these knowledge sheets have all the other recordings which we have in terms of our previous classes, in terms of helping you on the interview, in terms of having these, you know, different uh, links of a YouTube trainer on data analysis, where we are trying to progress by leaps and bound and trying to understand data analysis in a progressive manner, right? So here, uh, how we have, you know, able to uh, log in, in uh, able to uh, get this knowledge by bits and pieces. Again, we need to understand knowledge is a continuous process, right? So we collect this knowledge over a period of time. And then if we don't revise, if we don't work out, this is really challenging scenario in terms of how you can <coughs> cope up with the knowledge, how you can keep the knowledge uh, abreast, keep the knowledge updated. And again, this is a learning for you as well as me of doing a kind of best possible way to achieve this data analysis knowledge. Okay. Again, we learn new techniques, new technology uh, in a progressive manner. And that's how we keep, uh, you know, learning uh, step by step. Right. So let's, uh, you know, start with a basic data analysis. Uh, so there are uh, wait Hi, uh, I would like to interrupt here. Uh, so yeah. very good evening to all of you. Uh, thank you for joining and thank you for your patience as we were facing some issues today. And uh, just to uh, get started, uh, uh, Sonia and Rita, welcome to the class, uh, first of all. And I would really like to know a little bit background about you, starting with uh, your educational qualifications, uh, you know, your work experience, if any, in IT or otherwise. And where are you based at in US? So can we have that starting, please? Yeah, Sonia and Rita, the new joiners, please. Thank you so much. Um, can I go ahead? Yeah, yeah, go please. ahead, Rita. Yeah. yeah, please. Yeah, this is Rita, and I graduated from Eastern Michigan University in Michigan uh, as a business administration. And also, I had a work experience as an account receivable, payroll, accounts, accounts payable. And now I'm doing the finance analyst. So I have like 10, 15 year experience, but this is something I want to just move on. Profile. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. See, any experience is important. Doesn't matter if it is an IT or non-IT. So thank you so much. Yeah, Sonia, please go ahead. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Sonia. And to be honest, I don't have any experience with the data analyst, but I have experienced the manual testing. It was been like 2018. And um, I came here like almost seven years in the USA. I'm living in New Jersey right now. And about right now, like two weeks ago, I just quit the Amazon. Uh, I work for the Amazon ISS department. So basically that's why I take it interesting with the data analysis because my job is basically over there retrieving data and reporting, you know, designing. So this is just a bit of things make me interesting. And I said, okay, I'm going to try with my career with data analysis. It's like, it's great. That's all. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for sharing this, Sonia. And definitely this course will help you in your current job for sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, Ravinder ji, please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot for, you know, uh, these uh, introduction. This will guide us to basically um, um, make you understand a bit better and basically build on your knowledge. And that's a kind of, you know, basic step. We're going to use all our knowledge we have acquired earlier and basically build our data analysis career on top of that. That's why this is a need. Thanks a lot for, uh, thanks a lot, Prerna, ma'am. Let's get started. Let's quickly revise whatever we learned in terms of our last session, right? So uh, uh, we started with understanding data analysis as a term, what we do in terms of data analyst overall, right? So in terms of data analysis, it's a process of extracting meaningful insight from the data. So we will understand in a moment what is data, but the data analysis is a process of extracting meaningful information from the data. Typically a Excel sheet where we normally process all our thought process in terms of trying to get an answer from that Excel sheet, right? So here slowly, steadily, we will uh, create a, you know, uh, a great uh, meaning out of an Excel sheet given to you, be it something like student marks, be it something like regional sales, be it something like uh, employee, you know, salary increase, be it something like understanding the attendance of employee and so on and so forth. So what we do in terms of data analysis, we normally process the extracting meaningful insight from a data, which can be hidden pattern, market trend, customer preferences, and so on and so forth. So what we normally do as an output of a data analysis, we normally create an English-like looking statement. This region is better for self. This employee have taken the maximum leaves uh, and various hidden pattern in terms of the cell in this region is growing progressively. So we can target our market better in those regions. The market trends. Now people are uh, started liking smaller mobiles. How do you come to this information? By analyzing a data. And that's the basic, uh, you know, meaning of data analysis. Again, in a theoretical terms, data analysis is termed as the process of <laughs> extracting meaningful insight from a data such as hidden pattern, market trend, and customer preferences. This is done by studying and analyzing the procured data. Now here, the most important term is basically studying and analyzing. Studying in the sense observing. By just observation, we collect quite a good amount of insights from a data. Like today, I can clearly see there are 15 participants in our session, which basically leads to a kind of maximum uh, participation in these, uh, you know, sessions till now. This is the maximum attendance we have till date. What does that mean? This is the, uh, you know, a kind of most famous track, which is easy to, uh, you know, acquire and gather a job around 100K per annum. And that's what the base part of data analysis. It's a simple, you just observe, study and analyze a data sheet and you create meaningful information from those seed. That's all total analysis is. And within that, we might observe hidden pattern. We might observe market strains. We might observe customer preferences. So this way, <clears throat> we normally try to process the Excel sheet in a good observing and studying manner, right? And that's the overall to the data analysis is. Now we're going to study how we can build this insight how we can, you know, observe these hidden patterns, how we can uh, understand the trends and how we can understand different entities, which are kind of result of a meaningful study, meaningful analyze, uh, analyze, uh, analysis. So analysis is basically comes with the observance, comes with the filtering, slicing, remodeling and all those things. Now we're going to study this uh, step by step process of how do you do analysis? Any, anybody have any confusion as of now? Anything which you couldn't understand about data analysis? We have learned this thing last time, but again, I'm repeating for the new joinees so that they can understand it, uh, you know, in detail. Uh, I believe uh, uh, yeah, we, we talked to so Sonia, we talked to e Emmanuel. Uh, Vaishali, is this your first class, ma'am? Yes, sir, Sonia? this is my first class. Okay, could you please introduce yourself like uh, Prerna ma'am have, uh, you know, 
stated talk uh, uh, let's uh, discuss about your uh, you know education and uh, discuss about your experience if you have any sure so my, i did my bachelor's in electronics and telecommunication from mumbai university uh -huh. and um, for a long period of time i was a homemaker but uh, in 2021 i did a course uh, for medical assistance and i'm working as a medical assistant uh, till date wow really great uh, data analysis do helps out lots of you know uh, healthcare professional to analyze data in terms of you know uh, symptoms uh, the medicines uh, suggested they are trained and so on and so forth we have right. seen in covid area lots and lots of data analytical you know practices for covid medicine distribution uh, covid medicine suggestion for combination of diseases like heart blood pressure and all those things and there are a good number of case studies available on the net itself there are good case studies from company like pfizer which uh, is normally you know um, what you can say um, have a failure in um, you know uh, adjusting the uh, a particular amount of medicines to the thing and that's how it's led to the fall of pfizer as of now in terms of they have lots of you know suits and everything against them but there were good studies as well like there were good number of you know pharmaceutical company who have did exceedingly well in terms of supporting north american canadian patient uh, to curb their covid uh, you know this thing we might study a couple of them as well as we go along so this is how we analyze data whatever data collected data given to us we analyze we observe we try to make uh, sure we give us kind of uh, extracting meaningful insights um, you know from these data given to us might be uh, you know for example like hidden pattern market trends and customer preferences so i believe everybody got an idea of data analytics anything which are uh, which uh, still couldn't understand anybody have any question as of now no sir okay, no, sir. okay let me move ahead and please um, don't... yeah go ahead please i i have a question please i go. just like you mentioned before you took our email id so you're gonna just suggest us how we study yes ma'am because i because i'm i'm just fresher you know what i mean so no this problem. is the okay then i got it thank you yeah, sure. it's a simple enough you understood the statements which i just spoke about data analysts ma'am yeah yes i told you i just uh, work for the amazon every day i saw this stuff so i understood thank you yes ma'am we are with you if you uh got any confusion contradiction or anything you couldn't understand please speak up okay don't wait for me to ask you a question uh but you know uh, here we just uh, go with the flow in terms of understanding in terms of discussion data analysis is an easy stuff if you believe it but if you uh, you know start believing stuff like you can do you uh, you will be able to do it so please uh you know uh don't uh uh, what you can say uh, uh, don't stop yourself from asking question okay don't suppress your confusion that's what i will request you okay so let me go ahead uh, now uh, let's try to understand what is data and how do we handle data in our day-to-day -day life right normally we work for a corporate we work for a company it can be something like guru school infosys we pro tcs we get employed at this company we get employed as a data analyst. So whenever we join company, the company welcomes you. They have certain type of standard practices, a discipline. Like you have flexi, flexi R, but there is a kind of overlap of, uh, you know, these uh, flexible hours uh, with a certain time. Like you need to be in office from 12 to 3. The way you choose your, uh, you know, uh, um, duty timings, uh, that's what the flexibility is. But you need to be online, you need to be in office at certain time. And these are kind of what you can say, requirement of the employee-employer contract, right? And then we have some more. Now, why I'm bringing this example? Because we work for an employer and then employer give us some sort of a requirement. As a data analyst, if you start working as a data analyst, they will give you some requirement saying, okay, could you please find out from that, uh, you know, data given to you, uh, could you please find out uh, in which region we are doing exceedingly well or we are doing the best in some region in terms of some sales so you have some sales data given to you and then you analyze these things and that's as simple as the data analysis job is 
and then we'll learn how to analyze it. We see now, right? What analysis is. Now we'll understand how do you process this thing. So first of all, whenever your reporting officer, your client, your senior interacts with you, he or she will give you a data or you acquire data from some place. So you might, uh, you know, go to a um, storage place, a cloud place where you can download the data via your internet connection. If you're working from home, this is what we do. So, uh, the, you know, senior will give you a link saying, please download uh, the Excel sheet from this, this location. So where you, uh, whenever you click that link, they might ask you some username, password. And whenever you are done with this uh, username, password, you click submit, you get an access to a folder where there could be an Excel sheet. You can just download that Excel sheet on your desktop, laptop, whatever you're doing, whatever you're using for the data analyst. And this is what we call data acquisition. So you acquire data. You might do some click, click, clicks and you'll get the data on your machine. Easy enough, any, any confusion till this point? Have you understood data acquisition? That means the data acquisition means the library, we collect everything in the library and if we need that, we just borrow it or store it, am I right? Uh, no, 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 it's not about borrowing. It's something is uh, somebody is giving to you, right? Somebody yeah, that's like, uh, yeah. my manager gave me the link every time because yeah. I work for the sortations. I right. was, so he just gave me the link, but I don't know how this came from. We just have a user ID, uh, Amazon BI. Right. When you click it, only we saw, I saw, because basically that's I say, that's make me clear, uh, interesting. Uh -huh. I saw lots of the diagram, but the only things I have a permission for the sortations one, how can the manually machines, the open machines, it's up and down. So right. I just only, yes, only every each hour, that's is I'm doing for that collecting data and make sure the machine, which machine is going slow down, all of the stuff, that's uh -huh. I do. So right. this is not our job for the data analysis, am I right? See, we, we, okay, uh, whenever you get an access to that folder, now you will see a file, an Excel sheet, mm -hmm. to this, right? And you just yeah. download that Excel sheet. And this yes. is, uh, yeah, and that's what we normally call as data acquisition or acquiring that data, acquiring that file from certain location. Because nowadays we normally work in a remote fashion, right? So what you do, mm -hmm. you normally, um, you know, gather this data from a remote location wherever you are uh, basically uh, trying to work with the uh, data provided to you. And that data is the only thing which is normally provide, provided to you. And now, as in remote working, we work in a secure, secure way. So what is secure way? You normally give information uh, or give data, share the data, whatever is just the need, not anything extra. And this is how we work today in terms of uh, what we call zero trust policy, okay? So don't worry about those things. You will give, uh, you'll be given a data. You should be able to download or gather the data from that place. Okay. In, uh, in a very few scenario, you might have to run some SQL queries, sequential, uh, you know, query language, which we're going to learn uh, in couple of sessions. So there you might type certain commands whenever you get attached to a database. That's what we're going to learn. So don't worry on that part. But yes, data has to be acquired. Data is given to you in terms of from the business side uh, to you uh, to work as a data analysis. Does that make sense, ma'am? Yes. Okay, great. So that's all about data acquisition. Now, data processing. What do you mean by data processing? You download the Excel sheet, you open in an Excel, and you try to process that Excel sheet by observing, by studying, by going through the data sheet in terms of understanding what type of data is given to you. How this data is basically um, will help you out to understand or to process, uh, you know, uh, these uh, uh, different uh, data sheets given to you. You will try to understand uh, if they are asking a question about employee uh, salary, employee attendance, then you might get the data of the employees. So an HR person will give the data of employee. If somebody wants to uh, you to process the data for sales, then they'll give you a data of sales. Sometimes there could be some, uh, you know, missing data, which might need to require uh, request again, so that 
the you know your manager your reporting officer will give the remaining data he might have forgot and these things do happen in real practical life but theoretically you'll have all the data given to you you just go to the excel sheet in terms of uh, from top to bottom wherever we are trying to understand how we are processing these uh, you know data what what are the things we're going to do you just basically make your plan by observing by studying that excel sheet and this is what we normally refer to as a data processing okay uh, so uh, data processing is you process the data with just looking or observing uh, at that data and this is a kind of the basic start of analysis or analyzing the data so you just have a look at uh, you know the first column first row um, the number of you know rows available the number of columns available given to you and so on and so forth each time the scenario might change sometime you might get the uh, get the sales data sometimes you might get the uh, employee data sometimes you might get uh, any other data which business wants you to process business want to uh, basically share them the meaningful insight of that data could you understand data processing any any confusion here my side no yeah good right okay no problem thanks a lot for that so let's go ahead and let's try to understand uh, you know what type of uh, data we are talking about in terms of how we can you know um, uh, uh, process this data one by one okay uh, give me a minute i'll basically show you a data and we'll try to understand how we can process such data uh, this is the data i've taken from uh, internet so here i'll open an excel sheet and we'll talk about the data okay um, i don't know uh, let me open an excel sheet here uh, it's not coming give me a minute please i'll go to the okay uh, let me show you how we basically gather the data from the internet okay now um oh, come on start share uh, i don't know why zoom is acting strange today but there means uh, some problem uh, could you see my web browser here? Could you see uh, Google? Yes. 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 Now here, if I want to study some sample data, see we are looking for some sample data, which is not copyrighted. So let's say I want to collect a sample data. I'll say same PLE sample data uh, for data analysis. And I'll say EXEL because I'm looking for an Excel file, right? So they will give me some good number of files here. Let me go to this website. Now, these are the, you know, uh, 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 websites where you can download the sample data or data sets. They might rename data as a data set. And I, I go here and I'll, uh, you know, try to download uh, one sample, uh, you know, data sheets. Uh, let's say company employee example data. Now this data might not be truthful, but this data is good for our analysis. This is the data I'm talking about. Now to uh, download this data, uh, I'll just download this data. I'll click on the download link. And, um, oh, come on. What is this? Yes, um, if you can see, there's an employee sample zip came to my these things. I'll go to show in folder. Uh, this will not not be you know visible to you. Give me a minute, and I'll, I'll extract that you know um, uh, file there in uh, you know um, my folder. So I got a data Excel sheet. Let me share that uh, you know um, Excel sheet to you so that you can understand what of what type of data. Uh, we got. Could you see my Excel here? Yes. 
could you see my excel sheet here yes sir okay so this is what uh, they have given me this is my employee id this is my employee name job title department business unit gender ethnicity and so on and so forth so this type of excel sheet will be given to you to process the analysis to do the analytics processes and this is how we're going to learn in a step by step fashion how we're going to analyze this now by just observing the data i can clearly see it's a well structured data what do you mean by well structured so we have employee id on our first column that's kind of identification row then we have couple of you know different uh, categories assigned to that id so we have employee name job title department business unit gender and so on and so forth i'll just check if there are any blanks well there are no blanks and there are around uh, how much data is there there are around 1000 rows first is a header row and the last is 1001 and that's my number of records available in this excel sheet last time we have discussed this thing in terms of uh, you know records category types the horizontal uh, you know row in a excel sheet is normally a record we need to keep in mind this is how the overall standardization in data analysis works so we have horizontal as a record vertical as a category so this record let's say 988 we have employee id as an id of the record then uh, dilin chin is my full, uh, is the full name of the employee of that record then i have a his job title as a director his department he is working in finance i believe is he please pardon me if i am you know a, a kind of missing the gender and guide me okay to correct it because i, I don't know how you know these uh, uh, chinese korean name basically uh, uh, segregated in terms of gender is yeah go ahead please yeah is he gender se male so is he is he right yeah thanks thanks a lot for that please see this is how we learn this is how we keep uh, you know getting understand new thing and please keep discussing among yourself if you have any question you can post it on whatsapp and i'll be able to answer it any time but this is simple enough only we need to uh, learn or understand the way we process data analysis now we are trying to understand how do we observe the data how do you study the data with just by the observation type of it so here these are all uh, you know categories attached to this record so his age is 60 he hired uh, on uh, you know 5th uh, sorry 6th may and so on so forth that's his salary uh, the bonus he will get is uh, 18% he is in uh, miami united state and he is still with the organization so this is all different categories and you know of these records mentioned here and we were studying record number 988 and this is how we basically describe the data sheet this is what they call data sheet or data set this is one table gives you a data uh, of these employees could you understand that anybody have any confusion on these no we are good right yeah so please uh, speak up if you have anything which you couldn't understand so i'll repeat again the horizontal row is my record the vertical columns are my categories and there should be one identification like given here employee id they call it eeid okay so this way every data have their own uh, you know way of explaining it way of understanding the data shared with you okay let me take back to the presentation uh what is that oh come on yes so we basically try to study or observe the data now exploration what is exploration you normally study the data by exploring it how do you explore it you normally okay let me go take back to you again to the excel sheet <coughs> and we'll try to understand how do you explore this data <coughs> <clears throat> could you see the excel sheet again yes yes, yes yeah now let's say the uh, the manager given me this excel sheet and asked me to find out <clears throat> which is the most uh, you know um, a kind of uh, employee getting the maximum salary okay <clears throat> so who is getting maximum salary 
so how do you find out in excel there are good number of functions already in build and we can use those function okay now uh, as we can see the first row is colored differently the color is uh, color background is green could you see that and they have a label there that's not the data this is what we call header row and most of the time you can make this header row by your own and we're going to learn that in our next slide next session but currently let's try to understand how do you observe the data right and how do you create best out of this data now we are processing the data in terms of the data given to me right so here i'm trying to understand the header row the header row is normally in a different background uh, and this can uh, be something like you know here we have employee id is first then we have a full name job title department and so on so forth now this is already sorted now there's a column called uh, annual salary could you see that under j column in our excel sheet you can clearly see there's a annual salary column can everybody see annual salary column here yes j this is the column i'm talking about right now in excel there are a good number of function if your manager ask me uh, show me which is the uh, employee getting maximum salary so what you do you get your mouse here as simple as that you click here and you can see could you see this pop up here yeah. sort to smallest sort to largest sort by color could you see these things yeah. are you able yes. to Okay. Yes, yes. Now, when I say sort smallest to largest, I'll get smallest first. But what I want, I want largest salary first. So I'll click on sort largest to smallest and I'll click on this. So what happened? If you can see, the Excel sheet got rearranged. So what Excel have done? Rearrange the record as per your filtering. This is what we call filtering. Simple enough. What I did? I click on the down going arrow here on the column of annual salary and I have clicked on sort to uh, largest to smallest or Z to A. So largest will be the first and uh, you know smallest will be the last. It's as simple as one click. Now in one click I got a number. Uh, it's uh, 2,058,498. That's his annual salary. And this, uh, if uh, your manager asks, who is the maximum, um, uh, who's we are paying the maximum salary, the answer will be Raylan Rios. And he is a vice president, sales, and the business unit is manufacturing. Oh, sorry, she's a female. Sorry. Oh, that's really great. So my Raylan Rios is a female. She's working as a vice president of the department sales. Uh, she is working in a business unit called manufacturing business unit. Her age is 43. Wow, such a young age. And she rose to the great designation like vice president, one of the top bosses, a, a senior manager basically. And then you can be, uh, reach to a position called vice president. And she joined our company on, um, you know, 21st of August 2016. And she is getting a salary of uh, two million fifty-eight k forty-nine uh, four ninety-eight dollars per annum. Her last bonus was thirty-five percent. So she had really great increase. She lives in a city called Columbus, Columbus, Ohio, I believe, right? So this is all the information I can uh, you know gather from this record. And now <clears throat> I can share with my manager information like this. And this is how one simple question, like who's the top paying employee of me? that's uh, is being answered with all these uh, you know uh, record observance only we have not calculated anything did i calculated anything no that's right so this is how we progressively do analysis one by one and then the uh, manager might ask me what is the smallest uh, you know or uh, uh, which is the employees getting the least salary so i'll click again here and rather than largest to smallest i'll go to the smallest to largest and here there's a miles dang who is a kind of male who is a male who is working as an it coordinator in it department some specialty product he's an asian age 61 a senior fellow who joined our organizations on um, 24th september 2022 getting a salary of 40k and some dollars 
he haven't got any bonus might be you know uh, performance issues or you know something like that he lives in miami so that's all type of information or meaningful insight we can extract from this excel sheet okay uh, could you understand how we did it we're going to again yeah. relearn these things in yes. depth in terms of how this sorting work how you can sl uh, slicing also work now let's uh, you know give it a thought i want an employees from the it department only i want to view the employees from it department only and i want to find out how many it department employees are there now please uh, be, observe this thing how i am processing this information so what i'll do i'll go to the department and uh, here if you can see text filters right in text filters i'll uh, remove the checkbox from select all and i'll just click the it now what i'm doing i'm repeating again in my uh, you know uh, department i want only the employees from the it department so what i'll do i'll uh, right click on the header row uh, the top uh, you know top of the column with a green background where there is a down going arrow or down going tra down facing triangle and i basically uh, get to this menu i'll do uh, i'll remove the checkbox of select all first of all it was like this i'll remove the checkbox and i'll just click on it you can see that right Could you see? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when I go and click OK, could you see what mm -hmm. happened here? I'm only just, the IT. Uh, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. just, uh, you know, viewing only employee of IT, uh, IT department only. Now, uh, you know, uh, if I select these, uh, you know, columns and I'll, uh, you know, go till the last column, uh, here I can see count 2, 1, 3. So there are total out of uh, 1,230 employees in my IT department. You can see how easy this is, how easy to observe or understand a large data like a thousand row. This is just an example we are discussing. Again, this can be a dummy data. Okay. And we are just trying to understand how we analyze this data, how we analyze this Excel sheet by just clicking it. Have I calculated anything? No, the Excel does the calculation for me, like the coil count 2013. So here I can clearly find the count of uh, the IT department employee is 230. In my IT department, there are 230 employees working for me. Does that make sense? Anybody yes, have any confusion? Yeah, go ahead, please. Where you can, sorry, where you can see 230? Uh, uh, down below, could you see number of selected sale contained data? Yes, 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 I got it. Thanks. No problem. Uh, let me do one thing, ma'am. Let me share this Excel sheet in our group and you can try out these things. And I'll give you some homework of finding some insightful information from this data sheet without calculation. Today, we are just learning the process of data analysis. And that's why, uh, you know, we have to process our information we to learn these things at a step by step. Then we'll move to the calculation, the graphs, the pivot tables, and the whole line out of it. But today, we are just understanding the basics. And please uh, uh, view the you know last recording, which we have released on the YouTube as well. Uh, please like, comment it, so that uh, we know you have uh, watched the video and you understood it. If you don't understand anything, please do post any questions in our uh, you know uh, whatsapp group so that i can answer or we can discuss that thing in detail in our next session does that make sense yeah and we are slowly steadily we're going to learn each and every of excel aspects about data analysis and then we move to the other tools as well like we'll have a revision of uh, sql how sequential query works we'll have a revision from preda madam about business analysis which is a similar, you know, um, uh, work culture or work processes as far as data analysis goes. So business analysis, you can apply for those jobs as well. But yes, uh, of course, data analysis pay a bit well than business analysis. So I'll uh, request you to stick to something like data analysis. And it's easy enough. Whatever we are doing right now is the actual data analysis we do. And after we understand these things, like who is the employee getting maximum salary or the least salary? 
what I'll do, I'll write a statement in my Microsoft PowerPoint presentation saying ki, this, this employee with this name, with this job title, with this business unit or department getting this much salary. And then you send that presentation to your manager, reporting officer, whosoever have asked you to generate that meaningful insight from this Excel sheet. And this is how we keep doing these analysis day by day, day after day, we do some calculation as well. Okay, so this is how we do in terms of observance uh, or a, a data modeling in terms of you are trying to filter out certain data and view certain data uh, by the requirement uh, by the uh, as per the requirement given to you by the business. Business means uh, the top boss, your company for which you are working, your client and so on and so forth. Okay, so when I say business, business people means client, my manager, my CEO, CTO and all the top boss of our company where I'm working for. Okay, and this is as simple as this. You do the data analysis day in day out basis. Again, I have not calculated a single thing. Can I? I can, but I have still not calculated anything on my Excel sheet. I'm just sharing the business insight from observance only. Am I right? Could you understand this thing in detail? Mm -hmm. Now, if I go back and I remove this filter, this is what they call filter. Now, when I uh, move my mouse on this thing, it says department equals to IT. Okay, and I'll just click here and I'll just click on select all so that every record got selected and say, okay, so my data is still intact. But in some scenario, if I uh, uh, by clicking, if I miss anything, if I got something deleted, so what I do at the start of analysis, I'll do file, save as, and um, this PC, I'm basically sh sh saving this file in downloads. When it, where it says employee sample data, what I'll do? I'll add a thing called today's date. So today is uh, 24th uh, Jan 23. Uh, and I might add a time if I'm doing multiple data analysis, I might add a time like 9 p.m. Again, depending upon my, uh, you know, way of working i normally create a copy of this excel sheet so that by mistake if something got deleted or updated it'll basically uh, reflect in our uh, you know uh, the original data is still intact with me so that i can go back to the original data and start working on that okay this is what we call uh, you know creating a local copy of your data sheet of your database whatever given to you and an Excel sheet might have number of sheets, right? The first is employee data sheet. The second can be, uh, oh, come on. Uh, the second can be anything else. Uh, there could be number of Excel sheet in a given data set. But predominantly, you have to work with the data which is given to you on which you are processing your, uh, you know, uh, information, you are processing your analysis. Uh, on the selected data sheet. You can work across the data sheet, which we're going to learn in some time. But right now, today, we're going, just going to concentrate on a single data sheet, single data set as they normally refer to. Okay, let me get back to my presentation and we'll, you know, study further. So today, we're trying to understand how these, you know, uh, data life is being processed one, one after the another. So here, as we've seen, we acquire the, you know, data from our business. So that's process is called data acquisition. Then we move further for data processing by just observation. Same thing with exploration. You explore the data by filtering, by slicing, like you click on the down going uh, triangle uh, in your header row and try to process it out. Then we'll model it. What do you model it? You normally select a particular amount of data and then you, uh, you know, rearrange it as per the need of the business. And we'll see this thing in couple of slides, in couple of, you know, a um, 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 couple of steps where we start building a model to be presented and deployment in the sense you deploy this uh, presented, uh, presentable model to your manager, to your client, to your top boss. And this is how the total data life cycles happens for a data analysis. Again, there are... Uh, 
things to be learned like how do we achieve modeling that we'll learn in a couple of slides. Then deployment is basically you deploy your, uh, you know, reformatted data in terms of a screen capture, in terms of even an Excel sheet to be shared with the, um, you know, management who have uh, given you those business requirements. And this is how the typically day-to-day -day data analysts work. Does anybody have any question for me at this moment? No, sir. Chalo, great. Not my Chalo, sir. Yeah, go ahead. We are good, right? Okay. Now let me move on to the next thing. Now let's try to understand. We are talking too much of data, 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 right? Now let's understand what is a data. And this is a need because that's a kind of basic element we are trying to learn, right? And we're going to process our overall day-to-day -day job based on this data. So let's try to understand data. The theoretical definition of data is Data refers to fact and statistics collected together by reference or analysis. What does this mean? Data refers to the facts. Now, all these Excel sheets given to you are the facts or what we normally call as a records collected earlier. So, facts or the information is basically the records. And we are trying to understand, trying to tackle these records uh, in a progressive way. So, you know, normally first observe, then you might rearrange, then you might filter, you might calculate, and then you get the insight out of that data and present it in a statistical manner uh, or a, a, call a collected manner or in terms of a, a nice looking graph, pivot tables, presentation, and so on and so forth. So here, data refers to facts and statistics collected together for reference or analysis. So when we are looking at that employee sheet, we are trying to reference our thought process or we are trying to find the meaningful insight out of that employee data or employee data set as we normally refer to in our Excel sheet. And then we do the analysis in terms of relating those data to one another. So when you talk about the highest uh, paying employee, you need to look at the salary sheet or the salary outgoing from an uh, employee account to the employer, right? So what we did, we filtered the employee salary column, the annual salary column for largest to smallest. And the first record was the topmost paying uh, employee of that organization. And this is how we created the insight uh, from a given data set from a data uh, by the business to you. And this is how we build this inference from this data. We filter out the information from this data set. And that's how this data can be referred for the further business uh, application, further business uh, betterment, further business strategic decisions, and so on and so forth. So whenever somebody asks you what is the data, you need to explain in this single sentence. Please write it down somewhere. Please write it down a couple of times so that you can remember these things. In the interview, there could be a question called what is data. So you should be able to do these things. Or you can write this small definition on something like paste it and stick on your wall behind your laptop, desktop. So that the interviewer who is talking to you on Zoom, Google Meet with face to face couldn't uh, see those paste it and you can basically uh, read this definition from that paste it, post it, whatever you want to call it. And then um, you'll be able to basically uh, give them a complete definition. But if you can do it by heart, that's also another best way to, uh, you know, learn these data analysis. Again, the data refers to facts and statistics collected together for reference or analysis. Does that make sense to you? Anything which you couldn't understand? Makes sense. Makes sense, right? Great, great. And I'm going to give you the tips and uh, you know techniques of how we can uh, clear our first obstacles called interview. Okay, so that's why I say please uh, you know may, uh, either uh, do it by heart or write down on a paste it on your you know table uh, or your uh, wall or something like that where you can refer to during the interview. These are the uh, few repeated questions which we're going to work it out in terms of. Uh, maximum, you know, repetitive question so that we are ready with such questions. So whenever the interviewer asks these questions to you, you are ready with the answers. Okay. And then the interview is just kind of, uh, you know, 
the good uh, you know discussions with all these references available to you at your fingertips okay so data a definition of data is really important data refers to facts and statistics collected together for reference or analysis now let's understand what type of these uh, you know uh, data processes we do the image uh, below basically talks about data collected and stored so how do we create data we collect data and we store the data normally we store the data in laptop desktop smartphone and the whole uh, you know uh, new technologies available to us even the movie we watch is a kind of data which is stored someplace uh, in a netflix uh, prime video or all those uh, you know video streaming services it can be youtube and so on and so forth so this is also data as data refers to facts and statistics collected together for reference or analysis and that's how we need to understand data which is can be collected or stored like a video or a movie on your streaming video site then it can be measured can i measure the data definitely in an excel sheet you can clearly measure the data in terms of number of records in terms of you know salary calculations and so on and so forth could you measure to, to, uh, you know each and every word of the data no there are words which are kind of you know uh, uh, a kind of explanatory to the old word this is what we normally call as adjectives and all those things those data points might not be measured but overall we try to measure the data in terms of number of records number of types or categories to a record and so on and so forth we're going to learn these things the measuring of data in detail in few slides okay and then we analyze the data analyze the data means you pull out meaningful information from the data are given to you or available to you like student mark sheet if you have a mark sheets of your kid you might be able to compare who got the maximum marks how my kid is performing with reference to others and this is how the reference or the analysis or the observance basically makes you find the meaningful information of that data and that's why data analysis is a process to find out meaningful information from these uh, you know data set given to you and then the last but uh, important factor is visualized the data has to be visualized observed rearranged presented in a form which business can get the insight from they can build their strategies on those data uh, data point so that the business can perform well business can achieve really great goals and so you'll be also paid well for all your insight shared with your manager shared with your client and so on and so forth so this is how we manipulate the data we observe the data we analyze the data we visualize the data and we measure the data so these are the four different processes or categories we process the data in terms of a data analysis could you understand these things yes yes if an interviewer asks you uh, what do you do with data so you have to give these four topics to him or her saying okay we collect the data we measure the data we analyze the data we visualize the data in a progressive manner to build some meaningful insights for the business that's all we need to give as an answer it's a simple enough but yes we need to do practice on i'll share this presentation with you also after a session so that you can recreate your answer what we normally refer to that answer is scripting the answer scripting in the sense you type down some sentence you uh, you know pre uh, answer these questions which are repeatedly asked so that during the interview at least i can cover almost 80 to 90% of the interview with this pre formatted answer pre created answer by me which i normally practice by writing a couple of times and so on so forth okay so this is how you normally clip uh, you know clearing or working on on your first obstacles call interview to get a really good job the first obstacle is interview and this is how you clear this first obstacle in a step by step progressive manner okay let me move to the next slide here <clears throat> now here we are basically 
diving a bit deep into the data and the categories of data okay this is required this is understand you know uh, as far as trying to uh, you know process the data in a mathematical format in a in uh, you know meaningful insight and so on so forth we uh, try to understand what data can do for us how do we categorize the data and so on so forth okay Let's try to redefine the data in terms of informational technology or computer science. Data, normally pronounced as such and such, uh, like data, are individual facts, statistics, or items of information, often numeric. So mostly the data refers to the numeric. So when I say my name is Ravindra, my age is 51, you could understand the relevance of the data whatever i'm sharing with you but yes data is often numeric and then there could be non-numeric data as well but it is often numeric as far as analysis calculation goes in more technical sense data are the set of values of a qualitative and quantitative variables data are set of values of a qualitative and quantitative variables what is qualitative Qualitative means good, bad, ugly. Qualitative means the non-numerical data we are talking about. But quantitative means all the quantifiable data. Age 51, good boy is qualitative. But boy acquired, uh, you know, 90 marks in maths is basically a quantitative data, quantitative variables. Or the data collected with the numeric variables are quantitative data collected... Uh, uh, data collected with non-numeric variables is normally referred as a qualitative data. So when it comes to Excel sheet, let me share that Excel sheet again, where we'll try to understand which is a qualitative and quantitative data. So if you can see the numerics here, the age is a quantitative data, age is quantified. So when I say Miles Dang, his age is 61. When I say a uh, lay brand uh, her age is 55 this is quantifiable data and these type of meaningful insight gives you a difference between quantifiable and quantitative data okay so lee brand is an it coordinator uh, miles uh, dang is an it coordinator uh, alice tran uh, uh, she's an analyst right and so on so forth so these are quant uh, you know quantifiable, uh, no, sorry, uh, qualifiable data in terms of there are no numerics present in that. So wherever you can see numbers is basically quantifiable data. Okay. Wherever you can't see the numbers is qualifiable data. Okay. Let me get, uh, is that clear to you? Anybody have any questions? So wherever you can see numbers, it's quantifiable. I can measure that. And wherever there's a non-numeric data, it's a qualifiable data. Simple enough? Everybody understands? Yes. Great. Thank you. Let me take back to my presentation. This is the simplest way of explaining. We're going to see details in terms of how uh, qualitative data um, uh, can be converted to the numeric data for calculation also. But that's the kind of next step we have to do, to do in terms of analysis. But normally, just try to understand wherever you can see number is quantitative data, wherever you can't see number is a qualitative data. Okay, data are the sets of values of a qualitative and quantitative variables about one or more persons or objects. As we can see in the employee data, we are trying to collect information on employee. So there are some qualitative and some quantitative data. While a datum, a singular data, is a single value or value of a single variable. And this is what datum, datum is single cell in our Excel sheet. Let me take back to your uh, Excel sheet. So when I talk about Alice Tran, it's a name of a uh, female, right? And it's a single cell. The cross section of record and category makes it a single cell, which is normally referred as a datum. So datum is single cell or a single entity of data, which is we normally discussing at a point. So wherever somebody says datum, 
try to understand it as a single data in a record or a part of a record. Does that make sense to you? Anybody have any con confusion as of now? You said datum? Uh -huh. It's a single okay. data, single cell. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. It's called That's datum. All datum and it's data. referred as data as well but normally to uh, you know stress the fact it's a single cell we normally refer this as a datum d-a-t-u-m as it's shown in the uh, presentation okay let me take you back to the presentation okay so datum is my uh, single data as it's mentioned here right sorry uh, then uh, although the terms data and information are often used interchangeably, the term has a distinct meaning. To us, to a data analysis, information and data have two separate meanings. Let's try to understand why and how. In some popular publication, data sometimes said to be transferred into information when they are viewed in a context or a post analysis. However, in academic treatments of the subject, data is simply units of information. Now, let me explain this thing with our Excel sheet. Okay. Now, here we are trying to differentiate between data and information. So, this is what we can say data. But I say Jack Brown, when I, you know, uh, select these two uh, data terms, uh, a data, uh, and when I say Jack Brown is an analyst, working in a marketing department and with a business unit with a corporate business unit so there are a few sentences i built out of the data shown to me now this is what we call the information so information is processed out of data as a meaningful insight like jack brown is an analyst so how do i find that information from the data given to me jack brown is an analyst working in a marketing department in the corporate business unit so i can create meaningful information out of my data in a multiple sentences or i can uh, build the information in a combined sentence as well but again depending upon your need of the business i normally try to process this information as it came to me by some filtering slicing and all those things uh, we are discussing the simplest way of analyzing the data. The things get more complicated. Uh, the way you add calculations, the way you sort the data, you slice the data and so on and so forth. But the most important thing, we use the data to create meaningful information. And how do you create information? By looking at it, by calculating, by rearranging and so on and so forth. So here, whatever I have selected, Jack Brown is an analyst working in a marketing department in the business unit called corporate and this is a kind of single sentence information i shared with my business uh, from the data given to me this is the simplest form of analysis and then you go on basically moving to a bit complicated analysis in a step-by-step -step manner and this is how we're going to learn the overall data analysis steps does that make sense to you have you understand the data and the information relationships? Yes. Good, right? Okay. Now, this is how we're going to learn in terms of uh, how do we, uh, you know, do the data analysis day in, day out. Now, down below, there's an image called data, qualitative data and quantitative data. This is, I've uh, you know, uh, mentioned here just to understand the categories of data. So, data can be categorized as qualitative and quantitative and then there are a good number of uh, people who describe the data types further going to a level where we have a nominal data and ordinal data then we have a discrete data and continuous data so the nominal data is a qualitative data ordinal data is a qualitative data discrete data is a quantitative data and continuous data is also a quantitative data now to give an example uh, in, a disc, uh, in a continuous data, if you are studying a population of a region, which is a continuously changing data, right? If you are studying a population of a St. Louis, let's say, I'm just taking an example. Or you are studying a population of um, New York City or New York State, whatever. In those scenarios also, 
the population is continuously changing. There are people coming in, leaving the city and so on and so forth. In the same way, some sort of a data is continuously changed. Even employee of an organization. On a single day, you might have an employee count of 1000. On another day, you might have an employee count of 1001 or 999 or 998. Depending upon the, uh, you know, employee came in, go, going back, all these things are changed in a continuous manner. But for a day, I can uh, sort out a number saying, okay, there are 999 employees in my organization as of today. And this is how you explain the data in a specified manner. Now, we're going to learn these different types in a progressive manner as per our business, uh, you know, uh, learning progressions goes. So today, Let's do one thing. Let's stop here. Let's revise what we have learned today. And then you can basically uh, build the notes of <clears throat> in terms of the learning today so that you can refer that, uh, you know, later. I'll also share this uh, presentation with you so that you can relook at this presentation and build better answer for your interviews. Okay. So let me take back to the first slide today. We started with understanding what is data analytics analytics is this pro progressive steps analysis is actually what we do in terms of running analytics is analysis so if you are doing analytics the process is normally referred as analysis so data analytics is termed as the process of extracting meaningful information meaningful insight from the data such as hidden pattern market trend and customer preferences this is done by studying, observing, and analyzing the procured data or received data. Is it simple enough? Does, uh, do everybody think they can answer the question, what is data analytics or data analysis? Mm -hmm. We are good, right? Okay. Let me move on. Oh, come on. Now we understood the data life cycle. What we do with the data? We're going to learn a five step process of doing data analysis, but here we are trying to concentrate on how data life cycle works. What is a life cycle? Like a human, we born, we basically start learning, we get educated, we become adult, then we basically gain experience, uh, we, uh, you know, uh, we become senior with more experience, you can be more senior and so on and so forth. On the age side, we normally, whenever we age, uh, you know, well, you can normally uh, complete your life and you normally, um, you know, uh, start your journey to the heavens and so on and so forth. This is a kind of human life cycle. In terms of data life cycle for a data analyst, we get the information from business, reporting officers, manager. We get the data, we acquire the data, and then we process it by just observing it. So first step of this data analysis, observance, study, and then we explore the data in terms of the information required or with the relevance to the information required for the data. And this is how progressively you keep, uh, you know, um, building insights based on the data slowly, steadily. For presentation, we do model the data. We rearrange the data in terms of uh, you know, this row first, that row later, uh, this column first, that column later, and so on and so forth. And then you present the data, you deploy the data to your business, to your reporting officer, to your client, so that the business analysis, a process is get completed. So this is how the data life cycle works for a given data analyst. Uh, any, any questions on data life cycle as of now? No. Okay, let me go ahead. Then we understood what is the definition of a data in terms of uh, an answer to an interview questions. So data refers to the facts and statistics collected together by reference or analysis. And then we had a look at a couple of uh, data, uh, the way we collect, the way we store, uh, the processes we perform on the data. So we collect, we store, we measure, we analyze and we visualize the data. And after visualization data, you might present the data uh, to the business for their business insight or answers to particular question of this data. 
and then we seen the theoretical definition of a data in terms of what is data and we started understanding two distinct type called qualitative and quantitative data so here the data are individual facts and statistics or items of uh, information of a numeric in more technical sense data are the set of values qualitative or quantitative variables about one or more persons or object while datum is a singular data is a single value of a single variable although the terms data and information often used interchangeably in a normal talking we do use information and a data interchangeably but <clears throat> Uh, as an analyst, we need to understand difference between data and information. The term has distinct meaning to a data analyst. In some popular publication, data are sometimes said to be transformed into information when they are viewed in context or in a post-analysis scenario. However, in academic treatments of the subject, data is simply units of information. So information is basically number of data entities with a correlation with a meaningful reference or a context. Okay. And here we'll stop today as far as our, our discussions. I'll share the recording with you so that you can, you know, uh, relearn these things, build your answer for the interview. And this is how we parallelly learn, build answer for our interview in terms of paste it, in terms of some notes of you so that Whenever somebody asks a question, you should be ready with the answer like what is data, what is data, what is data analytics, and how do you categorize data. So how do you categorize data? Data can be categorized in qualitative or quantitative variables. Simple enough, right? So we're going to learn in a step-by-step -step manner, in a progressive, uh, simple enough, uh, you know, uh, tactics so that you can understand in depth uh, in terms of data, in terms of how do you process data analysis. So as a homework, I'm going to share an employee sample data Excel sheet wherever you have to answer certain meaningful insight information from that data sheet, from that Excel sheet. Is it easy enough? Anybody have any question as of now? Question, I, I know you repeated a uh, couple of times, qualitative data and quantitative uh, uh, data. Right. So which way we can easy to remember that? Wherever there are numbers, that's a quantitative data. Quantity you can measure, a liter of uh, milk, half liter of water, 200 ml of tea or coffee, right? This is uh, quality, uh, quantitative data, quantity which you can measure, quality you can't measure but you can feel, right? Ravindra is a good boy, that's a qualitative. Ravindra age 51, that's a quantity. Does that answer your question, ma'am? Yes, sir. Thanks. Yeah, sure. See, we learn, keep asking questions and we learn steadily, slowly. Even I learn from you. Many of our experiences, case study we're going to share. And we'll learn together. Okay. Uh, uh, Prerna, ma'am, uh, do you have any closing remarks, ma'am? Uh, yes, definitely a very much, uh, you know, informative and with a lot of details this session has been. And I am glad that, you know, we had participation and some questions and doubts were asked. So uh, as we always end the session, uh, I would request, uh, maybe today we can start with the newcomers. So I'll request them to share their feedback. Request their feedback in one word or one line, how they felt about today's session. And then they can nominate somebody else. Yeah. So basically it would go like, like the way I've mentioned, today's session is very informative or uh, very interesting with a lot of knowledge. So that is my feedback for today. So I'll request, I would say Rita, as she's unmuted, to share your feedback in one line and you can nominate someone else, please. How you felt about today's session, yeah. Yes, um, I feel like it, this is really interesting because I do work in the Excel, the Excel how is go, but um, I would think it's gonna be not bad. It's gonna be easier to learn. 
so uh, i thank feel, you thank uh, you for really your feedback comfortable yeah, yeah. very very nice to hear this it has uh, you can uh, take somebody else's name from the uh, you know members from the session please you can nominate somebody else um i can i see anybody's name you couldn't hear you no i can i see any oh. i can i see any the participants uh, you know if you click on the participants uh, just next to the video okay you can okay mm, now is ansua anusha you mean yes ma'am okay anusha over to you anusha yeah um this is a good session i already attended this session before um so this five step process all those mm -hmm. i'm expecting like more on excel um like um what what he was telling to do the homework um, mm -hmm. so so let me try the homework and get back to him okay thank you thank you so much anusha so you understood and you are willing to uh, practice more thank you so much please nominate somebody else uh, sonia yeah sonia over to you yes is great because i told you i work for the amazon ics department that was the visuals i see that make interest but right now it feel like clear you know clearly may i understand everything because ravindra sir is great i mean explanation is good and yes practice makes me more perfect so yeah definitely i make more practice and i hope i get it <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so much sonia yeah please nominate somebody else very well said rather ah uh, yes i will nominate um i'll go with is jaya okay thank you jaya over to you Um. Uh, yeah, this class is really informative. So um, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Nominate mm -hmm. somebody else, please. Um. Uh, Harini. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. And uh, today's session was um a review session, as Anusha and Jay said. Like this is a review session for us because uh, we have been attending from October. So this has oh. been a is um so it's it, it was a review session it was um for us i mean uh, going back and um kind of uh, understanding a little bit more and all that and then probably when it comes to excel in in depth of uh, working with the excel data i think it will be mm -hmm. more interesting but today's was a kind of a review and helpful thank you so much yeah can you please nominate somebody else i will this is harini so I'm sorry, Harini. Yeah, sorry. Please nominate somebody else. So I I will nominate uh, Ankirth Ankirith Lim. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Over to you, Ankit. Hello. Yeah. Um, the class is very interested. The uh, course, the uh, professor, he uh, talked very well, explained very clear, and I feel like very easy after um, listen to the sessions and read all the slides. It's not difficult at all. I hope that um, the next class will be more interested um, than the first class, and also um, I cannot wait for the um, Excel uh, practice. Thank you. Superb. Thank you. Thank you so much. Will you please nominate somebody else? Uh, Sri Vali. Okay, Sri Vali, over to you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it is very informative. Uh, I learned from YouTube before. Mm -hmm. I, it is good than that. Thank you. Okay, so so interactive sessions are really better than only watching videos, right? that right. is what you would like to say yeah perfect thank you perfect thank you thank you so much for your feedback they can please nominate somebody else um ritu varma yeah ritu it, varma ritu over to you yeah rita i done i'm the first one i done okay ritu was the first one so yeah can you please nominate somebody else yeah Rajia. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, it's very detailed and um, uh, it's very informative uh, interview wise, like um, Ravinder Ji while explaining, he has always um, made a point that what questions could come for the interview. So um, it's very, uh, we could co focus on those uh, topics and it's very detailed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Will you please nominate somebody else? Iman. Yeah. yeah. Who is left? Iman. Emmanuel, yeah. Emmanuel, what do you? Yeah. Please unmute Hello. yourself. Hello. Hey, hi. Hi, Emmanuel. Hi. So, how did you find today's session, today's class? Yeah, today's class is good. Good. Uh, I enjoy a lot of, yeah, yeah, very interesting. I enjoy a lot. Super. Thank um, you. Thank you for your feedback. Will you please nominate somebody wait. else? Just take somebody else's name, please. Anybody from the list, I would say. I think he is unmuted. Um, muted again, sorry. Okay, I think uh, who is, uh, Neha is remaining. Uh, Neha. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so today's session was uh, really good and informative, I would say. And um, we are looking forward to like more sessions. Then... Thank you so much, Neha. Very aptly yeah. mentioned. Will mm -hmm. you please nominate someone? Uh, I think uh, Rajya and Vaishali are uh, remaining, if I'm not wrong. Uh, uh, Vaishali? Yeah. Vaishali, over to you. Yeah. So today's session was very informative. The way Ravindra sir explained everything using the simple examples is uh, uh, really good. And that way I understood everything very well. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vaishali. Will you please nominate Raja? Raja. I think he's yeah. remaining. Yeah. Oh, I already went. I was the one who uh, said. Okay, you were the one. I thought Rita was the one. Okay. So anybody remaining? I, I, I think everybody's done, right? Uh, before yeah. closing, I have a question, Vairana. Yeah, Anusha, go ahead. Yeah, recently I attended uh, uh, two interviews. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to ask Ravindra sir, like um, he was telling, right, um, these are the interview questions, like what is data or a uh, five-step process or something. Um, mm -hmm. But um, just want to, I mean, for preparation, I want to ask him, like, uh, they never asked me, like, what is data or how do you going to clean or what is the step you go through or nothing. They, they didn't ask me all these questions. Mm -hmm. uh, so I need, like, some guidance or help how to prepare uh, for the interviews. Uh, okay. Very, very, very apt question, I would say. Uh, so, uh, let me and Ravindraji uh, draw a plan for you, for you and everybody who is interested, uh, who is going to interview, uh, who is planning to give interviews. Basically, in my other track, we do have mock interview sessions, wherein we provide some study material along with these sessions. First of all, we have these sessions, but we do provide some PDF and some uh, typical interview questionnaire. So I'm pretty sure Ravindraji would also have some, uh, you know, in his database. So we'll share that with you, uh, with you and other people who are interested. And then uh, you can once go through that and then we can connect. And one important thing, Anusha, it's like uh, every, this is for everybody rather, uh, yeah. every organization and every team or every interviewer, first of all, uh, you know, their mindset and their requirements are different. Yeah, so yeah. Um, uh, apart from I... typical questions, yeah, apart from typical questions like tell me about yourself or your experience, like, you know, when you talk, uh, you talk, you know, you, you have the answers, but their questions can vary. But uh, nevertheless, some of the questions are common when it comes to any topic. So I think me and Ravinder Ji will discuss on that and we'll get back to you maybe in the next session or maybe next week, give us some time for research as well. We will get back to you. And then uh, if we have any further documentation 
PDFs, interview questionnaire, you know, we'll share with you. Yeah, Does it I sound agree. good? Yeah, I agree yeah. what you said. Since we are uh, putting like five plus or five years minimum of, minimum of experience on the resume, so mm -hmm. I feel that they are not focused. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. See, we also do resume review. So whatever you have mentioned in your CV as a, your project, you know, like you, sh you should be comfortable enough. And, you know, you can even uh, have a discussion on that with us. First of all, go through your resume. This is for everybody. Go through your resume. If you're not prepared, please start preparing. Please join RRRP sessions conducted by Dev sir. As he attends so many conferences and seminars, he has the latest info on the industry changes, industry requirement, job opportunities. So he guides uh, all the candidates personally in that session. So update your CV, uh, make your CV first of all, create it and then uh, get it up. Yeah. Sorry, but Pren, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt because I I had changed my resume and I, and uh, uh, one person by name Roshini from Guru, Guru School had emailed uh -huh. me and asked for the, uh, my resume. And in fact, um, um, mm -hmm. the person said that there is a requirement. And even based on that, I even uh, texted you and I was asking for your yes. time, available time. That is, that, didn't is what, that is what. That is why I'm coming from because I did discuss that internally. Uh, so uh, except from having one-on-one -on -one sessions, we are planning to come up with, see, at least there are two to three people, then we can record the session and we can share, right? But what we can do, Harini, I, I remember you shared and I even told you to I'll get back to you. So in the next session, maybe at least you and Anusha, Anusha, your CV is also ready, right? Harini has already shared with me. So, uh, you know, maybe in the next session, post this session, like at this time, we will have a quick review. If anybody is interested to wait, they can, or we can at least get started with your CV. Works? Fine? Yeah, because me and Anusha are in um, are in uh, PST. So for us, it okay. is very uh, three hours. We are, we are back. Oh. So we both okay. can wait. That's not a problem. So we both can wait even after the session, even if a, a EST people um, wants to Okay, we will try to wind up session maybe 15 minutes early that day and we can so have we, this session for everybody. So even yeah. it won't be too late for you and it can be a learning experience for others who have yet not started to uh, okay. start work on the CV. Works? Okay. Next session, perfect. Uh, Harini, don't, don't worry. I have that in mind and I, I, that's why I was coming because generally what we do in other tracks, uh, we have this kind of session or we also have recorded Zoom separate sessions, okay? Wherein we just discuss on the CVs of different, different candidates because most of you have some, some of the other uh, projects as per your earlier experience or your comfort level, right? The domain uh, things and yes. all. So some of you have differences, some of are similar. So we can discuss in detail on that. Okay, Ravindraji, next session yeah, yeah. we will uh, have towards the end of the session, we will have this particular we'll half dedicated. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. way yeah. Prenam oh, have explained, let me, you know, share my, uh, you know, few cents as well. Yeah. Normally, sure. the way we work, uh, we would like you to pa participate in RRRP session where there are very senior HR people, including, the, uh, you know, the under Devji's leadership, they've said leaderships. We normally... Uh, format our resume as in best marketing and sales document to be shared with all the recruiters, all the big companies in North America and Canada as per your location and as per your location preference. Even Devji and various uh, you know HR persons, they can guide you on a particular city, particular area as in better for pharmaceuticals, better for auto parts or auto ancillaries, better for banking and all these domains. See, as a data analyst, we get attached to some domains. We have to perform better in some domains because they are near to my home, near to my, you know, selected region, which I want to apply. Let's say I want to move to New York. So in New York, there are bigger financial institutions or non-banking financial companies where they need data analysis. Uh, like, uh, you know, hundreds of data analysts get employed every day. If you look at New York and I'm talking about New York, just the city. And this way, we have to target some areas where I need to work on. And then uh, these uh, leaderships people, they'll guide you on which domain to be, you know, aligned to, how your resume should be, which words are more favorable in your regions and so on and so forth. So we need to work on with this RRRP sessions. They are there for you and you need to leverage their advantages in a step by step manner. Other than that, as far as interview question goes, there could be few exceptions. But normally, in 99% of the interview, they ask a question like, tell me about yourself, 
they ask questions like tell me about your current project similarly what is data analysis as per you what is the data as per you these type of repeated questions we are uh, you know uh, basically collecting this information for last 21st e uh, 20 plus years so that's why we can share this information with you does that mean that every uh, interview will be similar no there are overlaps there are good number of information carried forward to each and every interview but there could be some exception also again depending upon the interviewer they had their own way of uh, progressing the interview it's a humanity right that's the way human we differ even if i ask you to explain certain thing you might choose some different words and this is how the scenario with interview as well so we need to understand from that uh, practicality we should be prepared with the maximum repetitive questions and this is how the probability and statistics help us out as a data analysis we can clearly understand how this is basically helping us out how this could help us out okay so progressively we need to do better day by day we need to understand day by day if you have any interview do share your questions with us so that even others can get help our question bank can get better day by day that knowledge base also have a sheet called interview questions and answer these are most repetitive question which we have uh, collected as an youtube link and we are going to add our previous recordings also uh, so that you can have those uh, interview question and answers uh, for the previous data analyst as well okay so we keep modifying we keep learning day by day but with your help only you can't work in isolation we have to work as a team that's what i am saying that's what even prerna ma'am have suggested if you have such questions which is a kind of uh, exceptional question asked to you during interview please share with us so that we can enrich our knowledge base for you and for uh, others also and this is how we grow up as in guru school company as a guru school we work with a team we work together okay so i believe you got an idea what i'm trying to uh, uh, you know say here uh, anybody have any question for me at this moment yeah uh, uh, Go ahead, uh, since we are asking like after the interview we need we need we need to collect the questions and share right uh, mm -hmm. Do you also have the same thing? Did, did you also do the same thing with the previous batch? Because yes, ma'am. Just like we need like questions from them as well. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the way uh, you know, I I think at it right now we are working means uh, if you look at this is a kind of second session we have on data analysis. Normally uh, we start this thing in a second or third week because you know then you have ample of uh, what you can say notions with you right ample of knowledge with you to understand the question itself because in data analysis also we have few technical questions which we you might need to learn the topic first and then uh, you know uh, work on those things so that's why i have not shared in this current batch but yes definitely we have our uh, with the previous batch but give us a week's time so that we can share the old historical questions also with you these will be mostly the pdfs okay and we'll share it don't worry yeah that would be very helpful because since definitely. we had attended uh, many sessions before at least we we would be a little bit comfortable parallelly come i mean preparing for those so right. whoever got the job um uh prior to our batch uh, uh -huh. in, as a delay, so the, if the, if they have given you the interview questions and if you had passed if you pass those on would be really Definitely. helpful because we want the latest market questions so that would be helpful for us to prepare so if Definitely. you could forward those would be really helpful for us so sure. and parallelly we will be able to also uh, i mean uh, pre preparation of resume or the preparation of our um, uh, our answers would be done parallelly along with our sessions so, Great. so that we don't have to wait till the last moment yeah, yeah. Thank this you. is the process we follow so don't worry about that part as well ma'am and as arusha ma'am said there could be a couple of uh, you know challenging interview where we might have different questions and this is also possibility but yes, we need to work on the best first and then worry about the exceptions later. Yeah, based on <laughs> job description, I know. Uh, yes. But yeah, yeah, we will get well get used to it. Please, ma'am. And if you can share those questions also, that will also help us to build those questions in, ma'am. Okay? Sure. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, a uh, lot uh, for your, uh, you know, uh, really knowledgeable session. See, we also learn. We also learn with you in terms of new questions, exceptional questions asked and all those things, right? <laughs> please pardon me i have stretched around 15 minutes over the time okay so you know have a good night
and let's meet at our next session and let's you know learn better in a step by step manner okay thank yeah. you thanks thank a lot you so much time. guys have a good, good night, night. Bye thank bye. you good night next class going to be wednesday right sure have a good night i'll share those things in a in a few minutes ma'am okay thank you uh, thanks so i have a questions for hello go ahead please i'm sorry it's not a question it's just like you said you're going to share with us the by email uh, for a couple of no ma'am i'll starting. post it in a whatsapp group ma'am uh, okay our whatsapp but, group uh, is yeah whatsapp group is a, a reference uh, a point for everybody if you have any question okay. please do post it there please feel free to even ask questions if you have any difficulty okay sounds okay. great thank you no no mm -hmm. chalo then let me bid uh, adieu to you right now let's meet our next session i'll post the link and everything 24 hours in time okay thank you thanks a lot for your time have a good thank night you. Bye bye. Thank Take you, care. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you.